Lawmakers from the East African Legislative Assembly gathered at the Tanzanian port city of Dar es Salaam to attend a special sitting on the region's integration process. The 45-member house was chaired by Speaker Dan Fred Kidega from Uganda. Tanzania's Prime Minister Kasimu Majaliwa opened a plenary on behalf of President John Pombe Magufuli. The Premier read the present statement, which mentioned that the construction of Tororo Pakwach Railway under the region's Northern Corridor Infrastructure Project would begin this year. In Uganda, the Tororo Pakwach and the Pakwach Gulu Atiak Nimule Juba line will be upgraded to SGR standard gauge railway. Preliminary design and feasibility studies are underway. Engineering, procurement, and the construction contract was signed between the government of Uganda and China Harbor Engineering Company on 30th March 2015. Construction is expected to commence in 2016. This also applies to the Malaba Kampala Kasese line and Kasese Bihanga Kigali Bujumbra line and Kasese Tisangan line. The project is expected to boost trade in the region. He told the House that Kenya and Tanzania have already begun implementing the project. In Tanzania, development of Ovinza Musongat railway line is ongoing. Majaliwa also urged the MPs to spearhead efforts of fighting corruption in the region. According to the African Union, Africa loses United States dollar over 150 billion due to corruption every year. Corruption and the bureaucracy have been identified as the key factor that hinder movement of goods between the borders of EAC countries. Tanzania's President Magufuli has in recent times been regarded as his country's anti-corruption crusader for his tough stance against graft. In the first 100 days of His Excellency, Dr. Pombe Magufuli's leadership, the country has realized major transformation and indication that it is possible elsewhere. Revenue collection has doubled from two shillings 900 billion to average of two shillings 1.4 trillion per month. The sitting was also attended by the Tanzanian speaker Job Dugai. The lawmakers will be in Dar es Salaam for the next two weeks deliberating on regional issues. Since the beginning of his tenure in October last year, the president of Tanzania, John Pombe Magufuli, promised to stamp out corruption. In just a few months in leadership, he has realized his dream. Jingo Francis, NTV, Dar es Salaam, in Tanzania.